What's up guys, it's Scotty and I am here with my good friend Andrew Quo. What's up? Today we are going to do the ultimate tin can challenge. <laughs> Scotty here bought six cans of disgusting things. We number them from one to six and we're gonna pick the numbers out of this awesome hat. We have to eat a spoonful of yummy goodness out of the corresponding can. Rock, paper, scissors. Alright, so you're going first. Are you ready for this? No, not at all. Me neither. <laughs> what is it? Four. All right. I don't really know what this is. I'm hoping it's not monkey brains or whatever. What is it? It's beans. Oh, it's the beans. <laughs> you got the only thing that's like edible here. <laughs> beans are like the only thing that were like a real food. Oh, I'll be gassy for the rest of the challenge, but it's whatever. You get the beans. That means you get the only edible thing, and you're gonna be gassy. And like, I'm just here suffering. <laughs> So number four is out of the way. That was beans. The only thing here worth eating. <laughs> Are you ready? No, I'm not. I'm not ready at all. I'm so excited for this. Okay. <laughs> Please, not something so gross. I don't even know what numbers to be fearful of because I don't know what these things are. All of them. Be fearful of all of them. I got five. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, it looks like it's alive. Is this the squid? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew just picked the can with squid inside. Oh, that's so gross! Oh my god, I don't know if I can do that. It's a full squid! It's like the full body! Dude, oh my god, oh! That is so nasty! It's like tentacles. That's the first pick, is tentacles? Is that edible? Is that actually okay? We'll find out, right? Yeah, it actually looks like it's moving. It's like swimming on it. There's a couple in here. That looks like a dick. Oh, it does look like a dick. What is that? Is that a spine? Maybe. Ew! What did you just pull out? I don't know! You basically just circumcised the squid. Go for it. I mean, whatever, whatever. I can't even... <laughs> That was so gross! What if it's like one of those old Japanese horror films and like you become what you eat and you're gonna become this like half squid monster? That'd be kinda cool though. I'd have suction cups. You could like climb stuff. Yeah. Like you'd smell like a squid. Worth it? <laughs> kind yeah. of. Look at you. Get something nasty. You deserve it. I'm like due for something. Kind of disgusting. You got number six. Clam. Oh, dude, that was like the second like best one. F M L. Beanyak. Do you puke bucket? It was like coming back up. I've never had clams. I wouldn't recommend starting with this. So I hope that pork stomach is not number one. Is that the big can? Oh, oh. oh, this is the marinated duck feet. Oh, the cool thing is they kind of look like little baby Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. So if you think about it as if you were like eating, I'm just a dinosaur, eating a dinosaur. Then yeah. that's kind of you know when you're like a kid and there's like tricks you have to make certain things taste better, whether it be like covering something with cheese or putting like peanut butter on stuff. Yeah. You could cover that in like tons of cheese and that still would taste like a duck foot. Okay. You just stop playing with your What do you <laughs> It has webbed feet and everything? Yeah, it's got webbed feet. I have webbed feet. Really? Like, are you a really good swimmer? <laughs> I'm actually a terrible swimmer. I am just going for it. Oh. Oh, you're swimming. <laughs> oh, I broke one finger off. Oh, it's hanging there limply. Oh, it tastes like? It's not that bad. There's not enough meat on it. Maybe you've discovered your new like favorite food. <laughs> Do you hear that? So what's left? There's chicken gizzard and pork stomach. Pork stomach and chicken gizzard. So yeah. whichever one you don't have is yours. Brace yourself. Brace I'm gonna yourself. get the worst one. I'm gonna get like the pork stomach or something. <laughs> oh hell no. Would you get two? Hell no. The ones I don't say I don't want. That's my life. Oh, you got gizzard. For those of you who don't know what a chicken gizzard is, a gizzard is the thing that hangs from a chicken's throat or neck, and it kind of looks like a big bag of balls. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that. Yeah, they're marinated. Ooh. Mm. Come taste like Taco Bell. I've discovered their secret. It tastes like the world's most ratchet chicken nugget. Jello. Hey, ah, gotta swallow it. <laughs> that eye roll. And then there was one. You could like pick that out of the hat. But you gon' eat some pork stomach anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
numero tres. Oh god. Normally you'd think a stomach was like this like pocket of like whatever. It's like stringy, so it's you're like shredded. Stringy. It. It's all just like stringy little slices okay. of stomach. It's not too late for you to throw up. <laughs> if there's bones in this, I'm gonna be so mad. Yo, that'd be <laughs> actually got like a little bit of taste of seasoning. Pretty good. Describe it to us when you can. I need a moment. <laughs> You can need a lifetime to get over that. Yo, you're just, like meditating right now. You're like, just get mind over matter, baby. Just, just get through it. Just throw it back up in the can. You can't tell because it looks exactly the same. As I chew it, it's not breaking down. It's very chewy. But the seasoning isn't that bad. It's just like the actual texture of it is so gross. Who convinced us to do this? Well, you convinced me. I'm done. You gotta focus and be like, no matter what, this is going down my throat. So that was disgusting. That was gross. And I think it's safe to say that after watching this video, no one is ever going to want to make out with us ever again. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. I can't say that we enjoyed filming it. Probably not. We filmed the smoothie challenge over on Andrew's channel and it was pretty crazy. Definitely click on him, click on him right now. Check out the video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. What's the grossest thing you've ever had? What is the grossest thing you've ever had? Peace.